I wanted to be able to get a couple of minutes in with our guest tonight. So I want to turn to uh, Tom, and I know Tom is on the phone. Tom, right, you may have to press star six to unmute yourself. Um, Tom is having a great month, and you know, in the months of June, July, and August, there were lots of agents that came on. So Steve and some of y'all who are building right now were bringing on a lot of agents, and some people were coming on so fast, I didn't, I didn't recognize their names, and they were, and they were calling me up to, to phone script, train, or to scrub their applications, or you know, they were sending over client qualification sheets, and I was like, is this even one of our agents? Because I'd never heard of this person before, and so. Tom Tom all of a sudden kind of popped up onto my radar, and um, I have been so impressed with Tom. And I'm going to tell you the number one reason that I'm so impressed with Tom, other than the fact that he's such a sweet guy. He's so nice. He always looks so professional um, when he does his client when he does his client pictures for Group Me. But Tom is like Tom is like true blue system, true blue system. Tom does, he does the script, he does the client qualification sheet, he does the presentation in the home, he calls me from the home, he does the apps, he turns around, he does it again, and he's just, I told Steve the other day, you better, you better watch out because Tom is all of a sudden we're going to wake up one day and Tom Miles is going to be like, you know, one of the top producers. Um, so Tom, are you on the line with us? Yeah, I'm here, Angela. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Okay, so I've kind of, uh, now that I've kind of waved your flag a little bit, you can send me five bucks later. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I wanted you to talk, you've had a lot of success lately, um, and I wanted to talk, I wanted you to just take maybe three, four minutes and tell us um, uh, your background, how you came here, and um, what is making you have success out in the field. Okay, uh, yeah, a little bit of a background. Um, Initially, I wanted to be a teacher. That didn't work out. Um, I wasn't big on the types of culture and types of people that involved. So I kind of went dormant for a long time. Uh, I've been in delivery, Uber, you know, private contracting for uh, food delivery, basically. And believe it or not, there is good money. I do live in a college town. They do order, um, you know, but it's a tough grind. Uh, and, you know, it's just like any other business, just like what we do here, uh, you know, it's Activity, activity, activity. Um, you know, you put it in your 60-hour week, and you're going to get your, you know, 12 to 1500, which sounds great. But I mean, your car dies and things like that. Uh, you know, I have no insurance experience at all. It's not. It, and basically, what ended up happening, how I came about across Steve was on YouTube. Um, you know, I was on vacation for two weeks. I had time. I was thinking about, you know. Do I really want to go back to this? Do I really want to go back to this and keep, you know, trying to grind it out? And I said, you know what, I don't want to do it. And so, actually, a, a, the, the uh, you know, the Voldemort of the IMOs, we can't mention their name or whatever. And I was, I was literally one day away. And I said, you know what, I'm going to slow down a second, take a look. And sure enough, Steve, you know, Steve's videos on YouTube popped up. And... I called him. It took me a couple days to get to him, but eventually we did speak, and I said, you know what, this, you know, this, this seems like the way to go, and I told the other guy, you know, and the other guy and the other company was, I mean, he was, he was pretty, pretty up there. He was number one producer in 2016, um, again, no names or anything like that. So I got involved with Steve, and I went through the process. I did my exam as fast as I could, and then... Uh, you know, basically started following the system, following the system. And the, the first big dial session I had, you know, after I'd gone through the phone script training and all that stuff, I mean, within three or four hours, you know, first time through all the leads, and I purchased probably 60 leads or so, um, all B's and C's. And, you know, I had 10 appointments, and you know, just, just that quick. And I felt the script was magic, basically, is what it felt like. So, you know... And then from there, you know, I watched, you know, I went through the new agent training and I watched all the videos and did all that. And, you know, the in-home presentation, like most of you probably, you know, definitely watched it, you know, 10 times. And I was actually watching it before my first appointment as I was driving just to try to, you know, because you can't learn anything. It takes repetition, as we've all seen and all said. And, of course, you know, the first appointment I had, didn't go that great, and I really strayed from everything, and 
probably made every mistake in the book and obviously didn't make the sale. But about but then on day two, actually my first appointment, I did make a sale and I did go through the presentation. Was it perfect? No. Did I know everything about insurance? No. <laughs> I didn't know much at all. But the point is is that you if you keep practicing, get out there in the water and swim as they all say, through experience you will learn exactly how to do it. And it, it feels like magic, but what you're doing is that you've taken a system that works. It's proven, and it, I mean, going from driving an Uber to riding, you know, not that much maybe, but, you know, $2,800 in a couple weeks is, is pretty solid. I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of money when, when it gets issue paid, and the support system is absolutely, you know, amazing. And I, Obviously, we all are skeptical to think, well, I'm going to call Angel and she's not going to answer. That's not been the case yet, and I've probably called her seven or eight times, and, you know, she, she, she'll dig for you. And that's, that's what makes every agent out there should feel great about what Angela does for you because, you know, you're going to have a problem where you don't know. I mean, I had one last week where, you know, they weren't a citizen, and, you know, what do you do? I mean, that's that's very a very difficult scenario to get through, but you know, 40 minutes of digging, and it also gave me the opportunity to sit there with the client, talk about their history, what the, you know, what they've been through, and you know, you, you gain perspective talking to people, and I think that uh, you know that's that's the number one thing, and that's one thing I'm really working on right now is connecting with the client, and I did a great. I mean, I felt like I did really good today on my first appointment. Unfortunately, they had a lot of things pop up that you know, makes them very difficult to insure. But, I mean, you know, I had a very good, solid conversation, and it made me really feel good that when I go back there, there's, you know, they're, they're going to put their name on an application, almost certainly. So, really, the point is, is that you just follow the system. They, you know, these guys, are, they know what they're talking about. Steve and Angela have put together something that, you know, you need to follow step by step. And if you do that process, the success is almost secondary. It's like it's like paying attention in class, and they say, "Hey, did you study for the test?" I said, "No," because I paid attention in class, and it's just a natural progression. And that's pretty much where I'm at. Tom, that was totally awesome, totally perfect, and totally spot on. And I tell you what, you're right. There's 28. You know, if you're if you're averaging, let's just say, 2,800 bucks a week, 2,800 dollars every two weeks, and you've been <laughs> you've been here about a month. Um, that puts you on track for a pretty for a pretty nice annual income if you didn't do if you didn't do anything more if you didn't learn anything more if you didn't get any better and I tell you what if you keep doing that activity um, you will earn a heck of a lot more and you will do um, you will be on the top leaderboards of Equus so thank you very much okay Steve do you want to add anything or do you want me to go on to I wanted to um, I wanted to spend a few minutes with uh, one of our other agents. I do not. Tom Miles is fantastic. I remember the first conversation we had, and I never had a doubt that he would, do, he would be great in this business, and I, I look forward, Tom, to your continued success. Thank you, and, and well said. Thank you. Okay, so next I wanted to go out to Chuck. And, Chuck, you may need to press star six. I'm here. Now, okay, so now Chuck has been, uh, Chuck has been on the roller coaster version of, uh, of what we do here and had some ups and had some downs and had some kind of trying to find his, get his feet underneath him. And in the last few weeks, Chuck has had um, some pretty amazing breakthroughs and has started to consistently see um, applications coming through, which equals sales, which equals commissions. And Chuck had a long conversation, I know, with Steve over the course of the last week, I think maybe more than once. And one of the things when Steve was kind of sitting and chatting with me about that conversation, um, he said, you know what, Chuck is totally going to be successful here because you know what, he has not given himself any other option but to be successful. So Chuck, give us, uh, I don't know, three, four, five minutes of your kind of, to tell us a little bit about yourself and about um, kind of the successes that you have seen in the last, uh, in the last couple of weeks and how things have changed uh, for you. 
Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you know, I come from, uh, I've owned my own business almost my whole life um, and had, had a lot of really good success. Used to have cell phone stores and, and got in the real estate development business and, and enjoyed that ride for quite a while. And then it, it, uh, it didn't go so well in 2008, 9, and 10, like a lot of folks that were in the real estate business and got my hat handed to me. Um, and so went and went to work for the corporate world with a, with a large home builder and and that went off in the first several years, but a few months ago they uh, they made some changes and made some political decisions and told me I wasn't welcome there anymore. And so I, I and that really hit me hard. And what I've what I what I think I did is I got myself in a funk for a little while, and I got I got turned down for some other jobs and 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 looking for opportunities and and they just weren't there. And I and I too came across Steve on a on a YouTube video. I was I, I just. Had seen an ad on um, ZipRecruiter for another IMO, and and I just I talked to the guy and wasn't really impressed with what I heard. So I got to looking for others, and I found Steve's videos and sat for probably an afternoon and watched uh, a whole bunch of the videos that Steve's posted up, and just just began to realize that that if I was going to do this, if I was going to be interested in it, these were the right people to work with because they had their act together, and uh, and and sounded like they were ready to support. And so I got a hold of Steve and. And got got in here, and it's taken me a little while to get to get out of my head. To be very honest with you, I I have uh, I was been kind of stuck in my head for a little while, and and did some activity and had some success, but then stopped and did it again and stopped, and 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 really have have had uh, had some struggle with that. So I got back to reading. I got back to talking to myself, like Steve was talking about earlier. And and I don't mean talking to myself in a weird way, but you know when those when those those crazy thoughts of you can't do it or that kind of thing come in, you got to chase them away and, and run them off. And I and I had to get back to doing that because I've done that so many times in my life before. Um, but I had I did have a good talk with Steve about a week ago, and and things have really started turning uh, since that conversation. And and uh, did some good work over on Saturday. Went with a, went, met with a couple. I actually had met with them back in July, and and they weren't ready to buy, didn't want to buy. And I and I had been following up with them, and I and I've always learned a long time ago, you know, don't wait for people, don't don't sit and wait and hope and pray they're going to come, but but follow up with them and keep in touch with them. And I, it turned around last last Wednesday. They I, I talked to him on the phone and said, come on Saturday at one o'clock and let's do this. And and I went and signed him up, signed he and his wife up, and it was it was a great thing. And 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 I too had they they are, are from another country too, and and was able to get the paperwork done to uh to to help facilitate that and get it done, but. I guess I guess what I want everybody to understand is two things: is get get out of your head, forget about you, look at the big picture, where you're going, what you want, because that's the most important part of this thing, and also just accept what Angela and Steve say as on face value, because that's what it is, and and step out on a little bit of faith and a little bit of trust, and and just and, and move, and because that movement, that action cures everything. It it really truly does. I've heard them say it so many times, but it really just a little bit of motion helps uh number one helps the bank account but also number two helps you feel better about getting moving so i don't know what else i can add i know that steve's going to come on and um and kind of close this out but i think that what you just said is really really impacting and i hope everybody caught that you know it's amazing how once you do a little bit of action you have a little bit of success you feel so much better right it just makes you feel better right Amen. so then you're then you're more excited to go back and do a little bit more activity. Wow, what, ha what would happen if I doubled what I did last week, right? And then you, the results get better, so that makes it even more exciting. Then you want to go back and do more activity, right? It's no different than people that are, uh, you know, the happiest and healthiest in life are the ones that are very active, right? People who live the longest, right? They go out, they do things, they see friends, you know, older people that go out and they're in a bridge club and they go do this and they go play golf and they go, they go to parties and they go do this and they go do that. The, that activity breeds more activity, same People way a as habit. a lack of, it becomes a habit. It develops a Just habit. Just in the same way that it becomes a habit of success, absolutely. Just in the same way that when you have a lack of those things, how much more depressed are you? How much more lackadaisical are you? How much more do you just not feel like doing it? Well, I went and ran that one appointment two weeks ago, and then nothing come of that, so I may as well just not try again. The activity breeds activity, breeds success. Chuck, spot on. I agree. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for coming on, and Thank congratulations you. You for much. a great weekend. You're very welcome. Okay, Steve, anything else you wanted to add tonight? Yes, I do. Uh, are you done with your part? I think I have nothing left. I think I'm all right. <laughs> well, listen, Chuck, I appreciate the comments very much that we don't get a chance to talk often enough, but when we do talk, I'm inspired by 
uh, by by you and what I think you can do in this business. You know, it just takes a matter of just getting out there, getting it done, and and staying focused. And and uh, you are meant for this business, and and I know you'll do very very well. And I, I expect you to be on the leaderboard each and every week as well. So, and I don't I don't say that lightly. So, like, like anybody else, when you when you get the basis down, uh, you're good with people. Uh, you're likable, um, professional. You dress professional. Uh, you know, it's just a matter, of, as you said, learning what it takes to be successful. The skill set necessary to succeed here, and you have all that. So. Uh, everything else is on you, and I know you'll do well. So appreciate you sharing it on the call.